All right, we're gonna merge the two things we've been learning, um, quadratics, and in mindsets, we've been learning about area. So let's talk about area of rectangles with some quadratics. The rectangle below has an area of 80 square feet. What's the longest side length? Okay, so here's what we know. We know that length times width, width equals area, okay? So we know that this area equals 80 square feet. All right, so length times width equals area. So the length, let's say the length is, it, and honestly, it doesn't matter, right? Like this could be the length, this could be the length, this could be the width, this could be, it doesn't matter. Okay, but what we know is that 2x, look, we're gonna write it in this order, right? Because this is how we kind of like to multiply, right? But the length times the width equals, equals the area. Here's our equation, all right? Let's have at it. I'm gonna distribute. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 6 is 12x equals 80. Okay, now I have an equation. It is a quadratic equation. How do I know? Because it has a power of 2. But what I notice is it's not in standard form, right? We need this to be a 0 over here. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 80 from both sides. 80 is not like terms with either of these. So what I'm going to end up with is three separate terms, 2x squared plus 12x minus 80 equals zero, okay? Now, here's the deal. I can solve this, I can actually solve this by factoring or I can solve it by quadratic formula. I can always, 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 always solve by quadratic formula. I'm telling you this is also factorable, but since we're also preparing for a quadratic formula quiz, let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula because this is a great opportunity for us to just get a little extra round of practice. So my quadratic formula is x equals, right? And look, let's just, I'm gonna just put it up here. It's x equals opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right, let's do it. Okay, here my a is 2, my b is 12, and my c is negative 80, big old number. That's okay, we'll just use our calculator. Okay, opposite of b, opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and my a is 2, and my C is negative 80, and it's all over 2A, so my A is 2. All right, there it is. Okay, let's move up here. Okay, let's take this guy out to the side and do some simplifying. Okay, so this is 12 squared, so I know that's 144. And then this is negative 4 times 2 times negative 80, and I know this is going to be a big number. 640, and it's positive 640. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to 144. I get 784. Okay, now remember, this is the square root of 784. Okay, so look, let's put negative 12, plus or minus, I just did all this math, I got the square root of 784 over two times two, four. All right, let's see. Remember, we take this number, this 784. Now we're gonna put square root. Now there's two possibilities, right? It's either gonna come out as a crazy decimal or a whole number. Oh, it's a whole number. Okay, I get 28. So negative 12 plus or minus 28 over four. And this is where I get my two separate. Okay, now notice, look, I took the square root. The square root is 28. There's no more square root sign. Why? Because I already took the square root. Okay, so here are my two answers. Negative 12 plus 28 over four. No, negative 12 minus 28 over 4. Here we go. Uh, negative 12 plus 28 is 16. Divided by 4 is 4. And negative 12 minus 28 is negative 40 over 4. And that equals negative 10. Okay, so I get two solutions. Now, hey, these are my x values, okay? x could equal four or negative 10. Now, but let's look what it's asking. It's asking what's the longest side length? And here's what's crazy about geometry, right? Because algebra junk, my x values are either four or negative 10. But geometry junk, ooh, my x value cannot be negative 10. Look, negative 10 plus six, that's negative four. Can this length be negative four? No, we can't have a negative length. Look, two times negative 10, that's negative 20. Can I have a negative length? Nope, I cannot. So this is what's called, this is what's called 
it's a solution, right? Like it's absolutely a solution. It totally 100%. I could put it into this equation. It would solve it, but it's what's called an extraneous. Okay. You could just really think about it as extra extraneous solution. It means it just, it doesn't work in this situation. It's not, it doesn't actually like help me solve my problem. So I'm going to have to use this X value of four because this, this solution gets me a negative length, which just, you know, not a thing. Okay. So here, Let's find my side length if my x value is 4. So my side length of 2x equals 2 times 4. That equals 8, right? And then my side of x plus 6, that equals 4 plus 6. That equals 10. And let's just check. And Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm off camera here. 2x equals 2 times 4, right? Because x is 4, and that equals 8. And x plus 6 equals 4 plus 6, and that equals 10. And let's just check and kind of make sure that makes sense, right? Like if this is 8 and 10, if this is 8 by 10, does that make an area of 80? Sure does. Love it. Our answers are correct. Now look what it's asking. It says what's the longest, right? The question is asking for the longest side length. So let's see. Which one's longer, 8 or 10? Well, the 10, right? So this is the longer side length. This is the shorter side length. It doesn't really matter which one we call like the length or the width. In this case, it's asking for the longer side length. So that length is 10. And the units, look, it told me that the area was 80 square feet. So that means this is uh, 10 feet and 8 feet, or other way, right? 10 feet and 8 feet. And so this is 10 feet is my longest side length. All right, so it's your turn to try. A couple things to just point out. Um, this is asking for the shortest side length, right? But same here, you're gonna get two solutions. One of them is gonna be extraneous. It's just not gonna work out. It's gonna make negative lengths, which just aren't a thing, right? We can't have a negative length. Um, but definitely reference your example as you try out this problem.